Welcome to another episode of Asana, Learning the Basics. My name is Jerry Colbert, and in this week's episode, we're going to be talking all about team calendars. Coming up next. So here we are within Asana. And in this episode, I wanted to showcase an area called team calendars. Now, if you followed any of my other episodes on Asana, you know that I use Asana strictly for my content scheduling. And that is basically content scheduling for my YouTube videos. Now, of course, Asana has many other functionalities to it besides content scheduling. And I don't utilize most of what Asana can do. Uh, so I suggest that if you want to learn some other things that Asana does, please check out other videos on YouTube about Asana. Asana is a great app if you want to u- utilize a um, task-based program. Now, with that being said, in this episode, we're just going to focus on just the team calendar. It'll be kind of a short episode, but I wanted to showcase the team calendar and how I use it when viewing what I need to do as far as my content scheduling goes. So in this window here, you see that I have Asana opened up and I am looking at the team calendar. And how do you know this? Well, if you look over here to the sidebar over here, you see that I have team calendar highlighted. Now, the team calendar is a very good, useful tool so you can see all of your projects that you have going all in one calendar. Now, of course, you can always go to each individual project and click on the calendar up here and see where you lie as far as your calendar goes for that project that you have or that series of uh, videos that you're in the you know, process of producing. But what I like to do is because I have all kinds of different video projects that I'm doing. I have my um, music project for JC Productions. I also do uh, some videos on Jerry Cobra Photography. It's another YouTube channel I have, as well as I also do some movie reviews uh, on my uh, another YouTube channel I have. And of course, I have my Uh, fitness and um, getting more fit uh, YouTube channel here as well that I do videos for. So I have several YouTube channels and I created projects. Now these are ongoing projects. These are projects that are never going to close out unless, of course, I close down a YouTube channel. So, but they are called projects in Asana because, you know, you can create projects that will close out uh, once you're done with them. But in my case, I'm using Asana just for my content scheduling for my YouTube videos. Now, with that being said, I can, like I say, look at the calendar for each individual one. But because I have so many YouTube channels here and I have uh, different video projects that I'm doing on YouTube, I look at what is called the team calendar. The team calendar takes all of those projects, all of those ones that are scheduled and it puts it on one calendar. So I can see where I stand as far as all of my videos. So I'm not, because like for instance, on my JC Productions, I might have scheduled a video to go into production on a certain day, but I don't want it to conflict with my Your Digital Makeover videos. So it's very important to have one area where you can visualize on a calendar, your production schedule. And so this is where Asana can come in very handy. And so that's basically what I wanted to show you with this um, team calendar view here that I got. Now, just an FYI, for those of you who wind up uh, utilizing Asana for this, uh, when you go into your calendar view, it will show you a Monday through Friday view. Uh, That did confuse me at one point in time. I don't know why. But there is a show weekends uh, thing over here, a little link here. And if you click on that, 
it will expand it to a seven day view across from Sunday to Saturday. So like for instance, um, I do a lot of my video production on the weekends. I also do some during the weekday, but most of what I do is usually on the weekends. I produce all my videos and then I uh, sparse them out throughout the weekday, uh, scheduling them uh, for um, upload to YouTube. Uh, but in any case, here is each of the cards that I'm working on or each of the YouTube videos that I'm working on and anything corresponding to those uh, YouTube videos that I need to be aware that I need to do on those certain days. Now, for instance, I just finished an Excel for Mac learning the basics uh, episodes uh, that I filmed today that are actually going to um, upload or they're scheduled to go public on Saturday. So I finished them today. And as you see, it has check marks here that I finished them today. I had them in production. And now over here, these um, videos here, these cards here, have subtasks to them uh, within each card. If you watch any of my other episodes on Asana, you'll know what I'm talking about. And you know, some of those subtasks I have over here in Saturday's view that I want to accomplish once the video goes live at 4 p.m. on Saturday. Once it goes live, I'll check mark that off that it's gone live, and then I'll go into the video on YouTube and I will share it and then I'll also post a blog post on it as well. Once I'm done with that, I'll go ahead and check these off and I know that I have completed those and so therefore I'm done. Then of course I also know that on this day I have to produce a uh, episode on Grammarly uh, for my productivity app series that I'm doing as well. So as you can see, uh, utilizing this uh, can be a very useful tool. Now, of course, some of you are going to say, but Jerry, you're producing this Asana video. Why isn't it there? That's a great question. Do you know why? Because I was messing with Asana in this team calendar view and it just dawned on me. There's another idea for an episode. And so I went ahead and did it. So you don't, Here, here's the thing. You don't always have, I mean, it's a great idea to have a team calendar. It's a great idea to have a visual idea. But if you come up with an idea to do something, go ahead and do it if you have the time. Like, for instance, I got done with the Excel thing. I said, you know, I think this would be a good episode to do on Asana. So I went ahead and produced it real quick. Uh, and then I'll edit it later and uh, throw that out there on YouTube as well. But anyways, if you like this video and you are wanting to see more types of videos like this, don't forget to click on the like button and the subscribe button. And so without further ado, I want to wish you all an awesome day and let's become more productive. Thank you.